So today at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, we just got in a great blue heron who uh, was found on the side of a road. And it appears to be a first year heron. He's still got some um, downy feathers on his crest here. Um, and so we're gonna do an exam and try to figure out what's wrong with him. And you notice we're both wearing eyewear because of his super long pointy beak, which um, definitely could do serious damage to eyeballs. So um, that's why we have the goggles on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull out his wing and feel the bones and see if I can feel any fractures anywhere. We're also checking for any serious feather damage or any uh, blood of any kind. And this wing looks great. This wing. take one of these long legs. Um, I don't know how they're, they're crossed. Okay. I'll take, I'll take this one. Maybe we still need a little. <laughs> and I'm doing the same thing with the legs. I'm going to feel all the way up um, into the, the femur, up really high, uh, down all the way through the toes to see if there's any sort of fracture, um, swelling, anything that I might notice is off. Check their toes and they've got Quite a, quite a set of toes. Look at the one side webbing, just one side. Mm -hmm. That's so neat. Got a loose wing here. Take this side. Can you, there we go. Everything looks good with the legs. I'm going to feel his keel. That's the sound a blue heron makes when they're not happy. You got him? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to feel the keel, which is like the breastbone, um, and see if there's enough meat on either side to make sure he's not too thin. And he actually doesn't feel too thin, so that's good. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to check is his head. Yes, my hand on the space. Okay, well, can you grab this and then I will re grab it? Yeah. Got it. Okay, hell in here. I'm good. Good? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take the head from Sarah now and do a quick look at the eyes and ears on the bird to see if there's anything going on. Um, pupils are responding. Ears are somewhere back here. Oh, there it is, that little hole. If you can see it, this is ear. Looks fine. No blood. And that ear looks fine. And now I'm going to do the fun part of looking into his mouth. And when I look into his mouth, I'm checking for blood, um, any really ropey saliva, and also uh, parasites. Um, great her blue herons get a parasite called flukes in their mouth sometimes, which you can see. There's one. Yep, and he's got flukes. He's got some spot in his mouth, too. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little parasite right there. And we will treat him for that, get rid of those. So he actually looks fairly healthy. Um, a lot of times first year birds, especially we've noticed with blue herons in the past, they uh, just have a tough time their first year learning to hunt and catch fish. So um, it's possible he's just um, adjusting to life in the wild um, and isn't a good fisher yet. Um, but we're going to treat him, we'll, um, we'll see what we can do for him and uh, we'll get him some fish to eat. So the 
the blue heron that we have who came in about a week ago is doing much better and Justin's about to go in there and dump some live fish from that net into his enclosure. She has to be a bit careful because the heron is waiting at his tub of water um, for the fish. He's been eating live fish and he's been <laughs> he's been standing, um, which has been great. I'm gonna try to get a peek in there, see if we can see him eating his fish. Um, he wasn't standing when he first came in, we realized after we examined him, um, but he's been standing since and we have a tub in there but we put live minnows in and he's been eating them. And he does this funny little, um, I guess, de defensive display um, where he kind of ducks his head and tries to look scary um, to, I guess, ward us off. But um, I was gonna try to get a video of him eating, but I don't know if he's going to while we're standing here. <laughs> So the heron is going for fish now. He's having a little bit, of, there he goes. So he is doing a lot better. He's putting on some weight and has a lot more energy than when he first came in. So we're hoping we'll be able to release him soon. from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that VINS cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, VINS Nature Center in Queechee, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitats, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.